you very much, Garage Land. They're all the way from New Zealand, Auckland. That's their current single, Beelines to Heaven. Lots of Triple J play recently. We've come back. Please make them most welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Garage Land. Garage Land, why don't you come over for a chat whilst we look at this? At Triple J, we want to send a listener and a friend to Bordeaux in France on October 4 to be our official Oasis reporter in Europe. So if you're interested, then make sure you listen to Triple J to find out how you and a friend can land the gig to be the official Oasis reporter in France for Triple J. And we have with us Jeremy. G'day. Hi. And also Andrew. Hey. How are you both? Good. Uh, good, yeah. Welcome to Recovery and welcome to Australia as well. Thank you. It's lovely um, to be here. Is it lovely? Um, yeah, I guess it is. I'm good. I'm glad. Yeah. Good. This is your second time here, in fact. Um, last year he came with Love's Ugly Children and King Loser from mm. Flying Nun New Zealand bands. How are you finding the band scene here this time across the Tasman? Um, well, we've just we arrived Friday morning, yesterday morning. Ah, so fresh. We've seen um, Eve and that's all at the moment. But yeah. Really like them. Yeah. Um, played with them last night. Um, this is what we're hoping to see a lot more while we're on tour. The last time you were here, did you check out some stuff? Um, yeah, we've, we, saw a few, we saw some Australian bands. We were playing every night, so it was pretty hard to get out. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. um, <laughs> no, we, we, the bands we've seen we like, yeah. And how long have you guys been together? About three years. Yes? Yeah. And, and did, didn't you try it out a decade ago as well? Is yeah, like? we're, when we were in high school, we all played in a band. And, Was um, it the same lineup? Pretty much the same, yeah. It was kind of... I don't know, we just we were in the same class at school and knew each other and went our separate ways and then, um, yeah, it's just strange how, how, what life does, we kind of meet, each other, meet up with each other later and um, it's reform. It's very bizarre. So did, it is, did yeah. that experience a decade ago turn you off for 10 years, did it? 
it wasn't 10 years, but um, oh, you, see, you turned me off it. I think we were just really young and, and um, we had other things to do. School. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, um, is your name to do with the garage music, do-it-yourself kind of scene? Yeah, it, it's got those connotations, but, but ultimately it's just a name. You know, you need a name. Well, what's Apparently you need a name. Eh? When we formed a band, we found out you need a name and guitars really? and drums and bass. So you can be just called the band? Yeah, I mean, I can't see why we just came band numbers, but... I, I yeah. hear that the New Zealand government is actually helpful to the bands in New Zealand. Is that right? Um, there are some... There are some good funding schemes, but they could be a lot more helpful. Yeah? Yeah. What, what about the, the new recording artists program, helping with the first releases and stuff like that? Did they help you out? Yeah, I mean, that, that's good. They basically give um, a $5,000 grant to bands who haven't recorded, so... But they do have yeah. a video funding scheme, but it's pretty essential because there's not much radio yeah. in New Zealand, yeah. New Zealand bands. So you, you get, get a lot more in Australia. Australia. And they helped you out with a clip as well, is that right? Yeah, yeah it plays off that. Basically, you, you get a, some good government funding, but... Flip the other side of the coin is that a lot of commercial radio doesn't play you. We've pretty much played on student radio in, in yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. So it's a big scene in there, is it? New, the student radio? Yeah, it's getting bigger. It's, it's, in the last five years, it's got pretty popular. Listening to your music, it seems through your lyrics that you have a certain dislike for the 40 hour a week working <laughs> lifestyle. Is yeah. That what you, um, is that why you got into pop music? Yeah, I had, I had a problem with the work ethic. <laughs> yes. um, I like the hours of rock and roll. Don't you think this message that you're preaching is dangerous to the youth? No, I think it's... It's um, very cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to work, we're trying to ban. Um, we're not really preaching it, but um, I think a lot of people think the same. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Tour dates, we better get through some of these. Uh, 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 last night at the Evelyn with Evan, of course. Yeah. It went down well? Yeah, it was yeah, good. excellent. Yummy. Tonight, what have you got? The Gershwin Room? Gershwin. That, that'll be good too. With Evan again, so go and check those out. And then you're going around... Yeah, Sydney and... Yes. Doing a whole lot of university dates with Custard. Yep. And then we come back here and do a couple of our own shows at the Punters Club. At the Punters with Pollen and Mola and Rail and Pollen as well. It'll be big. So keep your eyes out for Garage Land. Thank you very much for coming and chatting and, and playing and Thank stuff. You. Very sick. Thank you. Oops, I said sick again. Could you please do a CD review for us? Yeah, sure. Thanks. So you'll have to stick around and, and sit on that couch in a minute and stuff. Oh, oh also, are you going to do one too? Excellent news. So Deb's going to do one as well. Garage Land CD reviewing. We have Gemma doing Smudge, You, Me, Car Park Now, their second LP recorded in Chicago. We've got Debbie does Edible 96, <laughs> the best in Oz Campus <laughs> Bands. And Jeremy's doing The Dirty Three, Horse Stories, their third album, and they're now based in London. And we have a clip request now, a very special one. Am I allowed to just stand up and run into the audience? Gemma? No problem. And we move over now to Deb. Yes. Debbie's, <laughs> Debbie does Edible 96. <laughs> The best in Australian right. campus bands. Yeah, well, this was really interesting. Um, it's a compilation of um, Australian bands. Uh, the ones I liked the best, I think, were um, Velveteen. Yes. And uh, Wishbone. Yes. Were the standout tracks for me. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, and also you get this free recipe ah. with the CD, which is which is a bonus, isn't it? It is a very large bonus. Yeah. Fresh tomato soup with basil. Indeed. Mm. Yeah. Why? Yeah, it's good. Why is that there? I have no idea. It's not, they've got this thing about tomatoes. I'm tomato not sure. bottom, tomato yes, top. Yeah. It's very tomato. I don't know what that means. Neither do I. This is containing the tracks by a national finalist from the 95 competition and four other bands that didn't get that far. Worth mm. a listen then. Definitely. An interesting album. Mm, mm. Good. Thank you I very much. I get it in New Zealand. Do you? Mm. Well, it should go across there, shouldn't it? I hope so. Good. Thanks, Deb. Cheers. Jeremy. How's yeah. that been, uh, been going, that Dirty Three Horse Stories album? Yeah, it's, it's great. I've seen them live before, so I'm already a bit of a fan. Ah. Yeah, music for the um, early hours of the morning, I'd yes, say. Yes, for the wee hours. We seem to see a lot of, so, um, yeah. <laughs> can I keep this? No, no. <laughs> sure, sure, surely you can just give things away. Oh, I want to keep it. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll fight a, over it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stop you for a garage land or something. That can be done. Yeah, yeah but, but more on this. Um, the yeah. instrumental trio? It's, well, yeah, they're, they're instrumental band and... Um, Lead instruments are violin. Yeah, I mean, some instrumental bands can get a bit indulgent, but I think they escape that. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty um, down to earth. Raw Aussie talent. Yeah. <laughs> Raw young Aussie talent. Young? <laughs> <laughs> They're um, currently in the US, about to embark on a national tour with Beck, before heading back to Australia for a national tour in December. That's the Dirty Three. In fact, oh, did you want to say something? No, no, I'm just um, you trying to think how we're going to get this off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about, I'll, I'll think about it if you throw to their clip. It's called Hope. Uh, okay, this is a clip called uh, Hope. 
Uh, right now, to handle proceedings outside, as the Wog Boys challenge the Enforcer, let's have a look what's happening. Ah, uh, yes, the Monaro and the Valiant, they're ready. And can we have the flag drop? Ah, oh, who's cheating? And racing! Uh, no. Ba That's wrong. That's wrong. It's supposed to go the same way. Let's see where that...